I've got seven o'clock. Let's go ahead and call the Parks and Recreation Committee uh, to session. Uh, we do have enough for our quorum. If everyone would uh, review your minutes from the October 25th meeting. And after so, I'd entertain a motion to approve or any additions to corrections to the minutes. I'll make a motion to approve. Mr. Clarity, a second by Mr. Johnson. Any more discussion on it? All in favor say aye. aye. All opposed? All righty, we'll move into the next thing on the agenda is elect officers. Uh, if, if you want to try to keep them the same, maybe we'll get entertain a motion to keep them the same as they are now, or we'll have to go through all three. If we want to change, we'll go but one step at a time here. I got uh, Mr. Gully. I've got a motion to leave the officers as they are. And me as chair, Mr. Gully is vice chair, and Miss Atwood is uh, secretary. Uh, I have a second by Mr. Uh, Clarity. I got a second. All in favor say aye. All opposed? Motion carries. The officers will be the same. All right, we move on to number four, discussion items. Uh, a, park cleanup update. Uh, Mr. Saleh, you want to give us an update on? Well, as far as what we're doing in the restrooms and stuff like that, is that, is that what you want to talk about? Uh, we've had several uh, vandalism attempts and success, uh, successions, I guess, over the past year, year and a half. It's just a lot of little things, you know. Uh, about a month ago, somebody tried to light the handicap restroom on fire. We found a lot of burnt paper towels in the trash can and in front of the toilet. Uh, the floors are getting worn thin. There's a lot of uh, graffiti on the walls and on the doors and stuff like that. So we've uh, got quite a few gallons of the epoxy, the paint epoxy that we put on the floor several years ago. I guess it's been five or six years ago now that we resealed that floor. and. Uh, we're doing that now. It takes a long time for it to dry, especially in this weather. Uh, we're having to go over a couple of things two or three times with the paint. And we've got a couple of water leaks in there that we're working on right now where they've been uh, kicked at the wall and the fittings have been broke loose. It's all minor stuff, but we're just so shorthanded right now that we're, we're running behind on fixing that kind of stuff. I, like I was saying, when I walked in, I've been uh, on the garbage truck route the last two days. Uh, we're just real short on drivers. We've got one laborer and a maintenance man and a mechanic right now. It's all, it's all we have on staff uh, this week. So hopefully we can get back on it next week and get it fixed up. Another thing we've got to fix is a water leak between, uh, I would say, the the gym there back towards the creek bank restrooms back there. We've got a water leak about halfway back under the road. So we're going to have to dig the road up, repair that. Other than that, we're, we're moving forward. Oh, the vandalism is going on down there. Is any of these cameras catching any of these? How's our cameras doing down there now? You never really know when it happens or anything like that. I mean, yeah, there's cameras. We see people going in and out all the time, but as far as pinpointing one person, we, we haven't been able to do that. No, How often are they checked with employees? I know you're short staffed, but is there a routine for trying to go through there once a day, once a week? We clean them every morning, go back through there three or four times a day, just making passes through the, you know, the restrooms and checking the park and trying to keep up with, with what's tore up and what's, what's not. Uh, the lighthouse in the, in the park has been torn up. We, we don't have video or a camera directly on that old lighthouse. They've tore the top completely off of it. Uh, it's just, just a lot of little stuff that's gathered up over the years. I mean, nothing's great big. We got a guy on video maybe five weeks ago uh, doing donuts in the parking lot, tearing the parking lot up. 
I turned that over to law enforcement and I hadn't heard anything back. I, I would assume they're working on it. We know who the guy is. So we're just waiting to hear back from, uh, from the detectives. I guess as I leave that question, uh, if, if we're working on it, you know, at least every morning we're seeing it, is there, if there's a camera turned towards that direction in that area, is it possible to maybe go back and start asking, start looking at suspects that we might be seeing going in those areas, uh, coming out with a, uh, maybe, a little bit of suspicious look or going in with a suspicious look. There should be an area in a way that if we're checking it daily, we know, hey, it happened in this last 24 hours. We can go back to that camera. It was the only reason I questioned it that way. We can narrow it down to, to an hour, but with people coming in and out, you know, it's just hard to say. And a lot of times it's just easier to clean it up and fix it and go on. We're, we're too short staffed to be standing around watching, watching video. I mean, I'd like to do it for some major uh, event over there that needed to be absolutely taken care of but here lately it's just like i said it's just been a lot of little stuff that we need to get cleaned up and fixed up before the summer gets here and everybody's back into the park full swing so we're, we're just taking our time doing it right and trying to get them in as good a shape as we can it's only been about four or five years now that those restrooms are uh, been open year round you know we used to winterize them every winter uh, blow the lines out and shut them down for four or five months out of the year so it, it I know it's a big deal to a lot of people, but it's just, it's so time consuming for us right now to get everything caught up. Oh, clear. Um, you say there's tearing the parking lot up. Does, you got the pictures. Does somebody have to sign a warrant or can they just go be picked up off of the picture? That's probably a mayor question. Well, that's going to be a law enforcement. He said he turned it over to him. Now, whether or not the sheriff's department's going to go pick him up, he probably just get, for doing donuts in the parking lot, I don't think the sheriff's going to put anybody in jail and take up space there. So that'd be probably a citation to court, I would imagine. No warrant be signed or, or anything to go before the court or anything? Well, that's what the citation to court would be. It cites them in the court. You don't want to do a warrant because then you're booking them and bringing them in, and that takes up time. And you know, you want to focus on something that's a little bit more prevalent as far as crime versus somebody doing donuts in the parking lot. As annoying as it is, and I agree with you, you there's just citations for misdemeanors and that kind of stuff. So the way to go, it reduces your jail population and doesn't um, stick you up with a lot of misdemeanors. Cliff, the guy that's usually down there during the summer, he's not down there in the winter months or whatever that drives around and keeps eye. He's just there in the summer months. Yes, sir. I believe it's May to October, April or May to October. Uh, maybe this next year, this budget year, maybe we can put a guy in there, you know, 12 months out of the year or something like that, just down there from six to 10. So it's a, a part-time job and it, he was very effective. The last guy we had down there, uh, Mr. Jimmy Noble is his name. He's still on staff with us uh, when we close the park for the, you know, for the winter as far as his position goes. We moved him up to the convenience center and, and he's helping around up there either at the convenience center at night or sometimes he'll come in in the mornings and clean the park and work in the park for four hours a day there, you know, just to get his, get his time in. So it, it would be a good idea if we could get somebody down there. Uh, 12 months out of the year, you know, for at, le at least the, that time. And then after 10 o'clock, you know, it, it's, it's hard to enforce who's that back there. Uh, but it's just something we can't do 24 seven, I'm afraid. Mr. Craig, I know yes, several sir. years ago, we had Mr. Lyles that worked down there uh, kind of as a custodian to keep things clean and keep an eye over it. I don't remember whether he was a full-time person or part-time or had other duties, but I know he did that for a lot of years. And uh, I, don't, I don't remember us ever kind of replacing him when he retired. I, but I think you're onto something possibly with trying to have somebody that that's their main duties, even if it's a few hours a, a day uh, to try to keep an eye on it. And then that would, relieve y'all for doing the other things that you have to do. May just look at somebody that's retired, that's looking for a part-time job or something. 
And Jim, he did do it, but like I said, it may be that he wants to do that instead of staying at the convenience center, but I didn't know whether he was going to want to drop back to that again or not, but just, uh, but I think it would be, we need to look into that. I think it would really help if we could keep somebody down there. On, on my... it, it probably would, would be worth it, cost and effort. I could check. Uh, we hadn't had a full-time position in the park in quite some time. There could be enough money there to pay a part-time to the end of budget year. If, if, if y'all wanted to, wanted me to check into that or make a motion that we you know, see if there is and do do it if there is so or or whatever y'all like to do it, you know, it, it's, it's here to talk about. Just a thought, it might, if you, you might even have someone that's like a bus driver, you know, that could do their bus route and then go down there during the day and then leave and go do their bus route in the afternoon. There might be someone that could, you know, kind of pull dual duty, so to speak, uh, in that in that respect. So I, I could see where, if the hours were somewhat flexible for that person, that there would be a lot of people that might be interested in doing it. But I think having the hours flexible would make a big difference on it. Do you think that would matter? No, sir. I, I mean, I, I think anybody there during the day, just a presence, you know, we had, uh, we had a lady that worked there last year and a lot of times when she got done with her job, she would just stay down there and read a book. And, you know, she, she did make some people upset, but she was just doing her job. So, you know, keeping dogs on a leash and having them pick up after their dogs and just keeping trash picked up when she seen somebody throw it down or seen that it was, was there, she kept things cleaned up. So somebody being there all day is not a bad idea uh, at all, but the evenings, you know, when Jimmy was there in the afternoons, the evenings, six to 10, uh, he always kept the trash picked up and everything like everything neat and tidy. We kept the tennis courts locked unless somebody was there to play tennis. And that kept a lot of the, the destruction being done in there as well. So uh, another thing about having him there in the evenings is the next morning, the garbage was picked up. You know, we could go in and clean the bathrooms and just make a fast walk through the park and, and be on our way. So that six to 10 covers a lot of ground, you know, if it's somebody that, that really wants to get out and do something. So I, I'd like to see somebody there year round. I, I think it would help. And it also helps with traffic. I mean, we don't get as many donuts in the parking lot. I've got damage now. We've got holes in the parking lot where they've just sit in a spot and burn, you know, burn, burn a tire up and, and the asphalt. Oh. Mr. Cliff, how much do you pay your part-time help? Is there a certain hourly rate for part-time, full-time, or is it different? Or? He's 11, he'd be $11.46. That's top pay for my department. Uh, 46. Uh, I think if you've got the money in the budget, you think you said you thought you did, I think we need to get somebody down there if they're willing to do it. Now I'll make a motion to do it. Motion by Mr. Uh, Clarity for forgive let Cliff look into see if he's got the money in the budget to put somebody down there. Uh, do I have a second or any more discussion? Have a second, uh, Richard Johnson. Any more discussion on this? I think it would help having somebody down there. Man, any more discussion? All in favor of this motion, say aye. Now, if, if they did see somebody that are doing donuts over their own eyes, do they contact the sheriff's department then, right then, and, and they get a citation rolled? Or, I mean, you know how that, if he sees something then in his own eyes? If they can, if they can get there in time, you know, we, we have had them take tag numbers and stuff, and I don't ever know what the outcome is of them. But if the sheriff's department gets there, they, they do make a presence when we call them, and, you know, they, they do talk to them, so... Uh, yeah, it, it would help. Definitely help. All righty, let's move on. To, uh, is there any more questions from uh, Cliff on the park cleanup?
had a motion and a second. I thought I did. All in favor say aye. Any no votes? One no vote. I would like to mention there in this case, I was just looking at the numbers on that. You said you pay it right now at about three months, uh, uh, about eight months a year. Is that what you said? Yes. Uh, that's just $4,000 or a little over. If we're not, and, and my reasoning and thought there on this case is if we've got cameras that are watching it and we're not able to improve anything by those cameras. I don't see what putting another individual there is going to do. We, we're, we've got cameras, we, park, we purchased those for a reason. We put those cameras up in that park to take care of those pieces. If we're not able to utilize those to benefit us, maybe it'd be more beneficial to put a person watching those cameras a couple of times, going back through them for that extra four to $6,000 for that uh, three more months of time or four more months of time. I just think a person being down there would help stop some of it. Um, that also includes picking up trash and everything out of the park and having it ready for them to pick up the next morning instead of having to put somebody over there that morning picking it up and then take going somewhere else to do something else. All right, let's move on to the uh, discussion item number B, bar, uh, ballpark lights follow-up. I missed the budget and finance meeting the other night, but I think this was discussed in my understanding that the budget finance uh, passed these, uh, okay, or passed it for the steel poles. That's all I got out of that. Anybody, uh, any more discussion on this? I think that's left up now to the mayor to move it forward. Is that correct? Where we left it the other day? Uh, we left with willing to fund that piece. And then is the Parks and Rec out of that at this point? I would assume we'd vote yeah, that's, that My understanding, if I remember correctly, this is in front of the county commission, so it's not in front of this at all. If I remember correctly, it got moved out of budget and finance, so it's going in front of the county commission. Sir. So our steel poles, the lights is moving forward and it'll go in front of the county commission because the budget and finance is approved and we need, I guess we need to get enough figure after everything gets approved. Uh, we, I, think we, we, I, think, I think we need to get this done as soon as possible, maybe before this new little legal season starts. We were not going to take this up this month. We were going to try to come back with fresh numbers. You know, they did approve it, but we wanted a fresh quote. Uh, I was afraid that with the supply chain issues and it would be a budget amendment for next month, next month's business so that we could have a fresh exact numbers. I believe is, is that, that's what I'm remembering that we did. Is that not what we did? I was not remembering that way. We we that we were moving it forward to this commission. Right. I didn't remember putting the firm bid price. I knew I said that it, there's likely to be a change in that price, but that we are funding it. My thought we were sending it to fund it. It's no different than it's going to come back. No different than streetscapes come back three or four times. But I thought we were putting it. My personal thought that day was we were putting it in front of commission on this time, but may not have been the case. I think it was funding it out of the American Rescue, wasn't it? Wasn't that part of it? No, not this not one. It was coming out of two different pots of local support grant. It was coming out because we got two different ones from local support grant in the first round. Some of it went in general services. That's part of it went in the urban services. We were pulling out of those. And I think that they used all the funds for the urban services and left, I think, 70000 or so in the general services. And I Right, and I think it pulled what a thousand or two thousand from the twenty twenty two local support grant. Yeah, this is all the local support grant that came from the state of Tennessee. So there's no local tax money in it. There's state tax money.
So hopefully we can get this done and get this uh, this project moving. We've been talking for probably two years now or longer or whatever. I might be five. I, might be, I know it's pretty been a pretty good while, and I think it's needed uh, needed down there. All right. Is any more discussion on that? Let's move on to uh, see the pool season. Uh, Cliff, you want to give us any information? But yeah, we've got some new flyers drawn up that we're going to take out to the high school. Uh, my new assistant, Tracy, brought the the flyers from, I would assume was last year. I know it was the job description from last year. And uh, the pay, the rate of pay on there was from back when Woody was running the pool. So everything was almost minimum wage on that job description. And I don't know if that's what they saw last year that discouraged them or, you know, if it was a number of things. But that could have been part of it. Like I said, we're, we're, we've got everything changed on there now, so we're going to move forward this year, uh, you know, with the new rate of pay that we have on there. And I, I know we're still under the assumption that we're going to – I'm under the assumption that we're going to pay them $100 if they complete the season. I'm pretty sure she put that back into the to the job description. So, uh, high hopes. I mean, we're, we really want to get it open and running. It's, uh, it's a terrible thing for it just to be sitting there, especially after the work we put into it last year. Uh, you know, to get it all up and running and it just set. I don't, I'd rather see it in use. <clears throat> Has anyone reached out to you yet? I'd have to talk to Tracy, but as far as I know of, no, not yet. Um, only reason I ask, Shelby Vaughn reached out to me back in December, which was a young lady that had been, I think, was willing to run it last year, if I'm not mistaken, one of the co-runs or uh, if, is that, does memory serve me correct, Shelby was going to be one of your managers last year? Um, Shelby reached out and was already asking questions, saying, hey, we need to, you know, let's try to get moving on this where we can get some folks um, going. Uh, she wants to, she's interested again. I know she's willing to help you support uh, recruitment and those things. Uh, if we think that's going to be the same route we're going to go, um, let's reach out to somebody like Shelby uh, that's, that's willing to run this piece that's been with us in the past and let them start helping us out with that recruitment. She definitely knows a lot of those students. She's, you know, fresh out of school uh, in college, probably going to have some opportunities there. And she's already shown interest in uh, in working there again. Um, Ms. Cliff, didn't you lower the age limit on lifeguards some? We've got one that's uh, 15 that we've already, that I've talked to this year. I don't know. I Like I said, I don't think they've turned in an application or anything. But as long as they have a ride back and forth to work, we'll, we'll work with them. So it don't have to be 16 and up? Just no, as long no, as, sir. As long no, as I've got a ride? Okay. Um, you were talking about a flyer. I know, I also know last year Shelby had made a flyer to try to help out with it. Have you seen that same flyer from last year? No, she made one. No, I'm not seen. Can you get a hold of Shelby? Maybe have her to get stop there and say what's what's your helper's name right now, Cliff? That's, uh, her name's Tracy. I, I've got Shelby's number. I'll talk. I'll get a hold of her. Guys, if you know anybody that might be interested in being a lifeguard or manager, let's try to put them in touch with Cliff or uh, up there. We need to get we need to get this rolling and get this pool open this year. Um, can we go on and try to also, I think last year, one of our issues that we ran into was trying to secure uh, a training uh, individual. Can we go ahead and try to start making those phone calls now and get that secured in a, maybe a training date set up uh, in uh, expectation that we're going to have the people show up and, the, and the, the individual show that are willing to do this piece. Let's go on and get ahead of it, get that plan and state that, hey, we're going to we're going to reach out. We're going to set a date by X date that we have a training date in place for these. I, I believe last year we had uh, stated that we would pay for that training uh, for those individuals. I think it was a two-year training is what it uh, covered at that time. I was about to say, plus we were willing to pay at the same rate the hours that those individuals uh, would have been the same as working in that summer. That way we can go ahead and get that moving. I'd like for us to set, and I'll put that in a form of motion if we need to, that we set a date that that date is, um, let's say we want to do it outside. So let's say uh, May 
what's the second weekend in May? Let me give me a date. Uh, we want we want training. That's what I said. Training. I don't know anybody that trains outside. In, uh, perfect. Even better. So we set that training last weekend in. Um, you're thinking somewhere like first weekend in May. We're at their mercy. I mean, we can call and give them a head count, but we're at their mercy on the date. <clears throat> so I'll make that motion so that we set it that no later than the first weekend in May, we try to set up a training, whether their, whatever their mercy date is there. We go ahead and have that schedule. Uh, that motion was that we schedule a training date, go ahead and get in touch with those to schedule a training date. No later that that date we scheduled no later than the first weekend in May. And that we would pay our uh, uh, participants their hourly wage that will be paid for the summer uh, pool as we did last year. I believe in that same piece last year we had, uh, oh, I wish I read that again. We, we had said that you had to work with us X amount of time to make sure that that, um, that whole summer, I believe is what it was for us to pay that, that rate and that extra fee. I have a second on his motion. I'll second. I'll second. Is there any more discussion on this? Um, I was going to ask Cliff a question. Do you going to go use try to use Jimmy Floyd again, or go back to Galton? Well, we hadn't heard the end from uh, Mark Carmen. You know, he was supposed to be trying to get certification, and uh, I I hadn't heard the end of it. We're, we're going to try to get it in in house as soon as possible, but. Uh, I just don't know where it'll be. You know, it, it could be either or. We've used both. Y'all heard the motion in the second. Uh, any more discussion on that? All in favor, say aye. aye. All opposed? Motion carries. So maybe we can get something lined up by then. Is there any more discussion we need to discuss about the pool right now, Cliff? No, sir, I, I don't think so. I, I, I don't have an update on it because we'd have to pull the water. You know, it's just, it'll be a day or two uh, into the spring before we'll need any more discussion on as far as the pool. And we're, like I said, we're ready. We're, I'm anxious to get it open. I'm. I'm just, uh, it's a habit of mine to get it going every year. And I like to see the kids up there. So just as soon as we can get it going, get it back up and running suits me. Is there, is there going to be a situation again where we need to pre-order chemicals where you run into the thing where we get right open and then all of a sudden there's a shortage? I, nobody's buying them right now. I mean, we, I can ask the, the two people we buy from and hopefully, you know, they'll have good news, but as uh, when pool season shut down last year, there was still a big shortage. So I don't, I don't know if people are still panic buying or, or what's going on. I hadn't talked to them about it. I'll know something next meeting. So everything else up the pool is pretty good shape far as you know. I mean, be ready to start this spring to get everything going. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We, we did some painting last year. We pressure washed everything down the, the deck outside, the bathrooms inside, did a, a, a lot of cleaning, some repairs, and I, I feel like we'll be ready to go. All right, we'll move on to number five, it's nothing else. Other business, anybody got any other business that needs to be brought up? Cliff? I got a call the other day from the Disc Disciples. Uh, they said they were just stalling on, on, the, on the funds, trying to get the money gathered up. But things were looking up and uh, he was going to have some stuff ordered and hopefully brought up before too long. And he asked me if we had a place that we might be able to store some of it. And uh, of course, we can we can store it at the shop up at the convenience center for a short time. And he asked if maybe we'd be able to help install it. And, I, you know, I explained to him that we're just real short handed right now. And, and if we had somebody, we'd be glad to come over and help them, you know, if we maybe dig a hole or help move some equipment in or anything like that. We'd be glad to help them. So uh, hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll see some, uh, you know, disc uh, over there before too long. 
I sort of, I mean, I, I hope so, because I think people is really be excited about having that over there. If there's anything our group can hear or help or whatever, let us know, I mean, on that. Yes, sir, thank you. I think if they'll announce a work day, you know, a Saturday, Sunday, whatever, and let people know in the community that they need some help, there'll be people that would come to help if we can let them, is that okay? I mean, uh, I'm sure some of the civic clubs would take it on as a project to help, uh, but uh, you, you can't decide on Friday that we want you here in the morning. And uh, so, you know, we'd have to have a little lead time on it, but I think that they could, we could muster up some help for them. Next time he calls, I'll try to get a, an ETA on when they're planning on being up here with the equipment and, and as far as doing some installs and, I'll get with Mr. Gregory and we'll get it in the paper and on Facebook and stuff like that. Maybe we can get some help. Well, I guess before we adjourn, y'all think we need to have a meeting in February or more or probably next few months right in a row before the pool season open. So let's start looking at the calendar. Would be a good date for some or us in February. And if it's an open date, Mayor, uh, in February, make sure it is an open date. Let's move on to uh, number six, public comment. Does anybody in the public got any comments? Are you with the paper? Okay, Cliff's assistant, okay. <laughs> Are you want to introduce your Tracy? This is Tracy, yeah. I, I, when, I looked, oh, when I came in, I didn't even look over there. So that's, that's my fault, but yeah, Tracy's here. Y'all, everybody, this is Miss Tracy Ross. She's my new assistant. She took Linda's place. Thank you for coming. So if you had anybody to stop by your office about the pool or lifeguards, anything. That... And I would just like to say, I, I really uh, think I'm glad that the pole ball feel that the pole still is moving along and the rubber, the mulch at the playground. I think that's two of the things we've been discussing. If we get them accomplished this year, I think that's going to be really great. Yeah, it took a while, but I think we, I think it's moving right now and it's, I think we should get it done in the next little bit. Uh, next thing I got is to adjourn. Let's try to find us a date. Do we want to meet in February or do you want to give it up till about March? There's a Thursday, February or March uh, 10th. Well, there's, there's that. And I, I, I really want to keep y'all in up to date on what's going on with these lifeguards. I mean, we can meet towards the end of February, if, if that suits you. So are you saying Tuesday the 29th? Is that what you're looking at? Or oh, whoop, 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 whoop. wrong. I'm in March, my bad. Yeah, February ain't got a 29th, does it? That's not wrong year. Wrong calendar. Uh, Everybody look at the calendar for March the 3rd, maybe at... Uh, look at the calendar March 3rd, 6 o'clock. Well, I, I straighten up moving to 7. It's been hard for me to make the meetings at 6 lately, but maybe in March I'll That's be fine. okay, huh? That's fine, too. Seven o'clock. Let's do it seven because till we get slowed up and get more help, I'm, I mean, it's hard for me to get here at six on a lot of our meetings. It's seven o'clock. If you see anything, it might hinder us on that date, Mayor. No, it's open currently. So let's set our next parks meeting for March the third at seven o'clock. Yeah, Thursday, March the third. That's what I've got. What's showing on my calendar? Yes. I got to note one more thing, Mr. Chair. Okay. I brought this up in the solid waste meeting and I, I'll bring it up to you guys too. Uh, we're going to try to put a pickup in the budget this year. And we've just got a couple that are high mileage and are starting to, starting to come apart on us. 
And I've, I've priced several used ones. The last one we bought was a 2008 Chevrolet, a single cab pickup, two wheel drive. And uh, we didn't overpay for it, but it was, it was a top, top, top pay for a work truck. And it was the only work truck that I could find used. Uh, these, these used ones that I'm pricing are LTs, LTZs, you know, load, loaded more, more towards the upper end of, of a vehicle, Fords and Chevrolet. And I can buy a new work truck, what they call a work truck with the, you know, vinyl floor mats and, and vinyl seats and stuff like that cheaper than I can buy a used truck right now. They're, they're just through the roof. Uh, around 40, anywhere from 38 to, I'd say 32 to $40,000 for a new one. And these used ones are 45, 48 with 100,000 miles on them. I don't know if I'm buying somebody else's problem or what. Uh, we've got one four-door vehicle now, and my goal's always been to get a, a weed eater crew in, in one vehicle. We, you know, we've had them in two vehicles over the past years, uh, chasing each other. They scattered. It's like herding chickens a lot of times, just trying to keep them together, these, these, these high school kids. And uh, mm -hmm. I, I just want y'all to know that's coming down the pipe. And I'm, I'm not, uh, you know, just trying to be pushy or nothing. I just want to tell you what I'm up to and, and, and why I'm doing it. I've got, we've got one old game warden truck that the rear end rusted completely out from under it on the driver's side and it come out from under the truck. We took the bed off and patched it and ordered some new spring hangers and welded it all back up and got it up and running again. But it's not worthy of hauling or towing or anything like that. It's a runner truck. You know, we, we may run, Dean uses it to run uh, building the building, running errands for all the clerks and uh, department heads and supervisors in the building. So there's just vehicles like that that are in dire need of replacement. And uh, I just want you to know that's coming. Thank you. Uh, are you want one with the side two boxes or you just want a bed on it? Just a bed, just a vehicle, you know, uh, just something uh, that we can put into the fleet and just, just trying to keep uh, equipment under so we can go. Okay, just a four-door, regular bed, four-wheel drive truck. Yes, sir. I, I would, I would like to say, pursue getting prices on the new one. Have it ready at budget time when you present your budget to the mayor, and we get it in here. Uh, I think we've been through this numerous times with the commission in the last several years, and we do not want to spend money on used vehicles at what we can buy new ones for on the state bid contracts. It just does not make sense not to go that route. And uh, so just get your figures together. And if you need it before then, bring it to us. If it can wait till budget time, put it in the budget. That's right. The maintenance and all of that. You got three years or more uh, that you're not having to bear any maintenance cost of anything, plus the life of it, you know what you have, you know you're taking care of it, and uh, it should last us a lot longer. So I, my suggestion is we go that, go that route with it is uh, uh, just go ahead and approach it that that's what you need. You tell us that's what you need, and I think it will be funded. Okay, thank you. I know, I know the last four I've bought have been state surplus, you know, five to eight thousand dollars is what we've bought. And they're 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 just they're they're coming to the end of the life. So I, it's it's just time for us to start. Those vehicles are just not there. I can sell my truck that I bought 12 years ago for more money today than I paid for it 12 years ago with 225,000 miles on it. A used truck is bringing enormous dollars. Um, my question was, I think Mr. Jewell brought a, a, a good point there. You, you said going into this year, you're already at that point. Well, your mowing is gonna come up well before our budget's looking at it in July for, for this piece. Is this something you're needing in May when, or in this, this day and time, we start in April, a lot of times mowing there in this case. So where are you at in trucks at this point? Are you at that point where you're really thinking you're going to need it a lot sooner than next than the budget to order it and get it here for the next summer? I mean, literally, that's what we'd be looking at. Yeah, I usually just pick one off the lot. Last time we got one down Wilson County Motors, and they had six. 
in stock. So I, I think we can squeak by. Like I said, it's it's uh, I can drive my personal vehicle if I have to and let this one go into the fleet, but I, I don't see that happening. I think we'll squeak by. I would like to see us go ahead and pursue it now if we can find the funds to do it. We've run into, when we get into budget year in July, the model year changeovers, they don't have them on the lots and they're not prepared to order them. And a lot of times you can't even get a new one until January or February because of the model year changes, because the state contracts run out a lot of times in June before we could get it approved in a new budget. It's probably, if we think we're gonna to need to do it, I think we find try to find the money in this year's budget, whether it comes out of this year, or next year, it's still coming out of the budget. And uh, let's let's go ahead and try to pursue it in the next few months if we, if we think there's any way we possibly can. Let's at least try to do that, is what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. And that way you can go ahead and get it, put it in service, be ready for springtime. And uh, I, I think that we can, I think we can find the money to get it. Just get right up what you want, get us some figures and uh, let us take a look at it. All we can do is say no. We might say yes. Okay. And I know Amy said that uh, Ray buys a lot of his stuff from Ford and Murfreesboro. So I, I do have the prices for the Chevrolets on hand. I just don't have it here. Uh, I'll get the forward together. I'll get some prices together and uh, next meeting I'll have some numbers. Thank you. I'd have to say if anybody gets the use of, I mean, more bang for the buck is his crew and him. I and mean, I appreciate it, Cliff, for what, what you do do. I appreciate y'all. Do you know who has a state bid on this time? I know, I know Wilson County Motor does. I would assume, uh, Ford of Murfreesboro still does from the Fords. I believe that's right. I think it's Ford or Murfreesboro's got it. Do they have, I think Wilson County and, and Ford Murfreesboro both on state bid contracts this year. So. Yeah, they take out bids for GM, Chevy, Ford, all that. I mean, they got them all in the contract. They'll do yeah. in the, looks like in the three grand divisions, they have at least one dealership for each of the manufacturers in those divisions. Yeah, typically we've liked to go with Wilson County Motors because if you do have a problem with it, it's a little closer to get it to them and get it fixed. It's not that we love them any more than someone else. It's just the proximity issue. And uh, they do have a fleet division. They can tell you exactly what they've got, what they've got coming in, and, you know, give you that state bid contract to a penny. And, um, but I know we've had trouble when we've had to wait till the end of the budget year into the next year of being able to get them. That was the only point I was trying to make because of model changes. Well, I mean, we got into that with the truck we were going to buy for the coach department and had to wind up buying a Nissan from Nashville because we couldn't get anything uh, else that was on that state bid. That's all I've got. Does anybody else need to bring anything up? If not, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Got a motion by Mr. Gunn and second with Mr. Taylor to adjourn. Appreciate everybody coming. Uh, March the 3rd, 7 o'clock is our next meeting.